Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffy back with another video. All right, y'all. It is officially Super Bowl week. And the next four or five videos I'm going to share with y'all going to be some Super Bowl menu, ideas, favorites. I also got a playlist I think I created last year. And you can go to the playlist. And I got seven, eight videos on there on Super Bowl menu favorite ideas. But I'm going to do the number one favorite. I'm going to start right at the top, y'all. Something I love been cooking for years. And it's a favorite of my friends and relatives and co-workers or former co-workers. It's my hot wing, buffalo wing. Very simple, very easy, y'all. There's nothing to it. First thing I do, I'm going to season this off. I'm going to season my chicken. This is for my sauce, y'all. Set that to the side. The only thing I'm going to put is a little salt and pepper. I'm going to use my three favorite seasonings. Cavenders. In my shape, sweet or spicier. That's it. That's the only season I'm gonna use. And what I like to do, y'all, so the front, turn it, move it around again. These will be chicken is washed already, y'all, and cleaned up. I'm gonna sit, let these sit about 30 minutes, y'all. Kind of let the let the uh, Season is kind of marry in there a little. You can do it overnight if you want to. I've done that. But leave that set 30 minutes after you put the seasoning on it so you have a good flavor on them. I think I got about a dozen in here for the flats and the drums. And let me know which one's y'all favorite, the flats or the drums. I'm a flat guy myself. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back in just a second here after these kind of marinate a little. We'll move over to the frying pan, fry them off. And, and after we fry them off, on both sides, I'm going to let them sit in the oven a little bit while I make the sauce. So, yeah, it's very easy. We'll be right back, y'all. Okay, y'all, we are back. Okay, we're going to move y'all over here to the skillet here. And we're going to fry these off. I ain't going to put no flour, no nothing, y'all. We're going to put it right in the skillet. And you can do these in the air fryer, too, if you want to. But me, I'm just frying right in the skillet. Right there, y'all. And I'm going to let them fry so they golden brown on each side. And if they're a little underdone, I might finish them off in the oven, even though I am going to hold them in the oven out. And while my sauce is getting hot, I want to make sure they're completely hot And uh, when I mix them with the sauce. That's very important. So anyway, y'all, we're going to let them fry here. When I turn them over, I'll be right back. And so we turn it back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, time to turn them over here. Get a nice color on them. See that? Nice golden brown color on them. Nice crispy. You want them, definitely want them crispy. They have a nice pretty color on them. And I cook them maybe about maybe 10 to 12 minutes on each side. And then, like I say, after uh, after they done completely all the way, I'm gonna put them in the oven. Let them sit in the oven 350 degrees by five or six minutes till I get my sauce ready. And then the, the sauce and the chicken is hot at the same time, and it really soaks into that chicken good. That's the, that's the key when you do the chicken wings like the, the buffalo regular buffalo chicken wings. Make sure the sauce is warm, chicken is warm, and you put them together. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. All right, now, these here, turn these off. Turn them over one more time, and I'm going to put them on a sheet pan with a rack. Number one, I want to drain all this grease off of here because when I mix it with the sauce, I don't want any grease on this chicken because the, the sauce is not going to cling to the chicken like I want it to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on my sheet pan with a rack. Do not put it on the paper towel, y'all. If y'all been following me long enough, you know how I feel about paper towels, draining stuff on paper towels. Okay, put this, put this in the oven. 
Now, move the skillet back here. Get it back up here. I'll out my way now. Get my pot here. Turn it on. All I'm gonna do here, y'all. I got some butter here. And of course, all these recipes in the description of the video is all of them. I'm pouring all this at one time, y'all. Hot sauce and a little. Uh, uh, garlic, all this is garlic chili sauce. Some ball, it's in the description of the video. It's Asian, uh, it's, uh, you can get it in the Asian section of the supermarket. It gives it a little bit of more kick, not much. I don't like hot stuff, y'all. I not like spicy food. These are not really, really hot. It's just another, another little kick, just a little kick to it to make you honest. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna step off again let this melt. This only thing you want this to do, you want it to melt. You do not want it to boil, because if you boil it too much, it'll split. So you just want to get it where all the butter is completely melted, and the uh, and the uh, uh, sauce is uh, and the sauce is come warm. You don't want it boiling hot. You want it hot, but not boiling. That's the key to this sauce. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna step off here. Let this. Uh, Butter melt. We're gonna come back. We're gonna put the give me a bowl to mix this in, mix the chicken in, and we're gonna come back and we'll put this thing together. Be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. The sauce is ready here. Got a little butter here left to melt. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the chicken out the oven. Put it over here on the side here. Move y'all over here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. I can kind of see what's going on. Okay, I got my chicken out the oven. Alrighty. Now, all I'm going to do, take my chicken here and put it in the bowl. Like I said, it's very important, y'all, to make sure your chicken is not really, really greasy. And like I said, you can do this in the air fryer, and this is crispy. You can hear how crispy that is. Okay. Now, the sauce, all we're going to do, take the sauce. Pour it all over the top there. And let all that salt, the salt just soak in there, in that chicken, y'all. Put this back over here. And what I like to do, little by little, just let it kind of soak in there, y'all. And soak all up in there and coat that chicken really, really good. See that? See that, y'all? That's what you want. That's what you want. Now, I'm going to let it sit in there probably about two, three minutes. And when you come back, I'm going to plate everything up. I love blue cheese with mine, y'all. I love blue cheese with my buffalo wings. So, anyway, we're going to come back. I'm going to put, I got my plate here. Let me show y'all. I got my bowl here. I got my blue cheese here. And I'm ready for some buffalo wings, y'all. So, anyway, y'all, we will be right back. All right, y'all. Look at this right here. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's your buffalo wings right there. And what you could do, y'all, a little extra sauce is extra. You can take it like this, just kind of drizzle it over the top of the chicken. Like that. Give it an extra flavor there. Look at that. Let it soak in there. See that? See that? See how easy it was I made those, y'all? Very easy, very simple. You can do this at home, y'all. You can definitely do this at home. So I gotta take a, make sure I get my thumbnail in there, y'all. Make sure I get my thumbnail. Okay, y'all, let me try this out. Okay, y'all know I like the flats. I know I like the flag. Y'all can see it's perfectly cooked. And I love blue cheese, y'all. Mm. 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 Look at that. Falling off the bone. Mm. Look at that. See that? Mm. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I'm like most people. I can eat a dozen of these. 
Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Good eating, y'all. Absolutely. Good eating there. But, anyway, y'all. Like I say, this week, I try to keep y'all with many of these uh, Super Bowl menu favorites that I can before the Super Bowl Sunday arrives. So, anyway, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.